what is up everybody welcome back to another video <clears throat> so today's video i'm not really doing a particular cosplay really For today's video i'm pretty much going to be going through like my routine and it's pretty much going to be like a how i get into cosplay type of video because i am cosplaying um obviously i had already planned to do that tonight uh, but it's really a character that I've already done a video for. So I kind of thought of an idea to kind of just actually walk through everything and actually show you guys and explain what I'm doing. And, you know, maybe give tips in a way. I mean, again, I'm no expert on this stuff, but if there's any way I can help anybody who's just starting out or just anybody in general, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. So I just kind of was like, you know what, let me like kind of just try to explain more and like go into more detail about my routine and stuff like that and you know see how it goes because obviously i've gotten better at makeup and stuff like that over the course of time that i've been cosplaying and doing this stuff and obviously i've learned a lot and gotten better at things so i kind of want to be able to show that because i feel like in a lot of my videos i'm like inconsistent with what i do and obviously like you know there's, there's the videos that i had earlier on you know i was doing things one way and now like to the most recent one which is like gene I'm doing things a different way and there's a lot that like I've, I've learned over those the course of like you know doing all those things and like I've done things inconsistently especially when it comes to like contouring I've done them really inconsistent so now I want to be able to now that I know what I'm doing wrong and like what and how to fix that and how to do that I want to be able to kind of go into detail and just be like hey like this is what I used to do this is what I'm doing now and this is kind of like what that means pretty much so like you know if that helps anybody that'd be cool so yeah pretty much just gonna be going through my routine so let's get started okay so first things first uh the first couple steps that I take when I'm getting into cosplays and stuff like that is first I shave because obviously I have facial hair so it's hard to do makeup when you have facial hair so I shave you know, clean my face, moisturize, do all that good stuff, and then prime. Use my primer, and then pretty much do wig cap, contacts, and then I'm ready to get going. So those are usually the first few steps that I do, and that's how I take care of business to get uh, started. So <clears throat> one of the next steps is, you know, like my base makeup. So one of the first things that I do is I color correct. And obviously you've seen this in all my videos. If you've watched my uh, previous videos, I always do this step first and foremost when I am starting my makeup. What this does, it, it as the name states, it color corrects like the tones. And there, you know, I could go on for like the different colors and shades and what they do and stuff like that. But since beards usually have like, uh, off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure it's like those darkest, like bluer tones, I believe. It's like something like that. And correct me if I'm wrong, because obviously I forget to, I forget things. But, um, so the orange color corrector usually helps correct those like tones in the beard shadow from what I learned from when I first started because obviously I watch videos so if you're watching this video when I first started I was watching other people's videos so hopefully this kind of helps if you know you're trying if you have like a darker beard color uh, and even after you shave you might want to try orange orange might be the go-to for the color corrector to kind of help um, you know it helps correct that so that when you you know put on your foundation all that stuff that you won't necessarily really kind of um see it i kind of went too far low so even if you mess up obviously the foundation is going to cover it anyways so just kind of like you know if you put too much or if you go too far up your face or whatever depending on like what area you're doing like don't you know uh, beat yourself up too much because it's it'll, it'll happen um, but the that's what the foundation's for. So, and then pretty much after that, I will take a setting powder and pretty much just kind of get it all in there. So that 
it you know sets in and I let that sit for a little bit until it's ready and the things that I use for these processes I use is help this elf perfect finish HD powder and this LA girl pro concealer in the orange so those are what I use so moving on to the next step so for our next step we're doing foundation now in my experience, I have used different types of foundations, medium, the full coverage, full coverage. And what I'm using currently now, and what has worked for me, what I've been using for a while is full coverage. This is called Dermablend. Um, it is a cream uh, consistency, and it is a lot thicker than other foundations. So um, if you don't need that extra coverage, I would not really recommend like using this especially if you don't like thicker makeup the reason why i use it is because i used to use a medium to full coverage and what that kind of did it didn't cover enough of what like i needed like i would color correct and then put that on and it wasn't enough because you can kind of see like hints of like orange still under because of the color corrector or it just wasn't covering the beard shadow enough so those were like the early problems that I was having with just using like a medium to full coverage. So then I switched to the full coverage and it really helped. And as you can see in all my cosplays and videos and stuff like that, that I use this and like it really, really, really helps. And it also helps with blocking my eyebrows too when I do my eyebrows. So it's very, very helpful. Now, what I do when I'm applying my foundation because I got the color character going, um, and if you're someone who has to color correct or put anything before you put your foundation, just be careful to not like swipe at it because you're gonna take the color and you're gonna like bring it everywhere else. So what you wanna do is you kinda wanna like, like poke at it kinda. Like the motion that you do with a beauty blender, that's what you wanna do like with this. You kinda just wanna do that. Not really like swipe like you would do for the rest of your face. Because it will take that color and it will kind of like move it around and you don't want to move the color anywhere so it's kind of how like you would pretty much do it like that and again it's all about kind of finding what you want to use and what works for you because everyone's different so like what works for me isn't going to work for you even if you have facial hair like what works for me is not going to work for you everyone's different so it's just all about finding what works for you again like i've used different products before and this is just something that works for me right now will i try other stuff in the future potentially so because i mean again you know it's about finding like, the best thing for you so um that's pretty much it i'm gonna finish my face and then we're moving on to the next part so see you in a second all right so one quick thing before moving on to the next step is that i want to talk about how i block my eyebrows before moving on to like everything um, and I'll go into more detail about it when I do my makeup and stuff like that. But basically, it goes into when I'm doing my foundation. What I usually do is I, after like the initial like putting on my foundation layer and everything, I usually take a little more and I'll put it over my eyebrows. Because obviously like I go in with my foundation with like on my eyebrows with like the initial like layers that I put on or layer that I put on. But I'll take a little extra after I'm done and just blend it in and usually that's enough to kind of like block it enough so that when I draw over them that you don't really see like the initial eyebrows and stuff like that so I just wanted to say that before I move on to the next step the next step is concealer now concealer I don't use a lot of concealer um this concealer has lasted me like a year and this is going into two years almost two years now um, I got this in October 2021. It's about to be February 2023. So like it's lasted me a long time and it won't focus, but there we go. So it's Morph. Um, it's a very, very light concealer. Um, I really just put it under my eyes. Like I don't really use a lot of concealer. And again, that's just kind of why it's lasted this long. Kind of just put it under my eyes to kind of like brighten up like the under bags of my goddamn eyes because god knows that i have bags under my eyes so it's like i'm gonna brighten that up so it's not like too dark or whatever under 
and I just do a lot of people use it for, but a lot of people use it for a lot of other reasons too. So it's just again, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, if you want to use more, you want to use it in certain places, like do that, but that's just like kind of what I do. And it's like one of the first things that like, I was kind of like taught how to use it. Cause obviously like I had people like teaching me how to do all this stuff. So again, like, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm always learning. I'm always trying to correct myself and correct my mistakes and stuff like that. So if that's not right, my bad. <laughs> it's just what I was told. And obviously like I've done my research and stuff like that too. So a lot of people do that. So yeah, so that's pretty much uh, that. And now we're pretty much gonna go into um, contouring. And contouring is a very, 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 very important uh, step that um, we're gonna get into. So let's get it. Now, contouring is a big step. Um, first and foremost, what I use is I use this e.l.f. Uh, cream contour palette. It's, it's a very important step depending on who you are cosplaying and things like that because obviously a lot of people when cosplaying more feminine characters still use contour depending on uh, face structure stuff like that but that's what it helps with it helps with face structure and you know giving you that chiseled jawline or helping you really tone out them cheekbones or whatever or even you know slim down your nose or whatever you're trying to do it really helps especially with masculine characters and very very masculine characters and i've done masculine characters like Erwin, like Krollo, and again, like Gojo. And I've, you know, kind of have been very, very inconsistent. I've said this in past videos too, about doing my contour or something like that. And, you know, I've been trying to figure out as to why, like, it's been like that. And I had someone kind of like, it like ringed in my head after a couple people like mentioned this. And it's like, it depends on how you blend it from my understanding of how they said it. And, you know, blending it more would give you a more kind of like natural look, a subtle look. Blending it less will make it really, 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 really pop. And now that I kind of understand that, it makes me look back at my other videos and my cosplays and be like, okay, like when I did this character, like I didn't do it that much. Like when I did No Way for the first time, like I didn't go for the subtle look and I didn't blend it as much so like it's kind of like understanding that it's kind of being like okay it's so, like am I going for a subtle look or am I going for the really popping look and those are things you gotta be careful with like don't like you don't want to blend too much if you're trying to go for a more sharper popping look pretty much so what I usually do is I pretty much take it down the cheekbone and bring it down like that side and do the same thing and it's important to kind of make sure that you can line it up but don't get like too hung up on it because you are blending it so it will pretty much like still be kind of like the same because like at the end of the day you're kind of still blending it but like if you if you're a perfectionist like me you're gonna try to do whatever you can to um get it done pretty much so i use a beauty blender because it's easier for me so you pretty much do whatever is easiest for you the beauty blender just kind of became what was easier for me so again it's all about what's easier for you so that's pretty much the difference pretty much so you can kind of see so that's pretty much what I do for uh, contour and stuff like that. Again, it just depends on what type of look you're going for. More subtle, a more popular look, you know, so. And we are gonna get to pretty much the last step, which is eye makeup before wrapping up the video. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, as you can tell with the contour, contour is looking good. Really popping with these right now. Um, so we're moving on to eye makeup. Now, this is something that varies from character to character, depending on, you know, what look you're going for, what type of look your character in the anime or game that you're portraying has too. Obviously, with some of my examples would be, I cosplay Kazuma from Genshin Impact. I do like 
red eyeshadow specifically. A lot of my characters I don't really do eyeshadow for, but like Xiao and Kazu are two characters I do do eyeshadow for and do like more than I usually do for other characters. Uh, I've cosplayed Akira Fudo from Devil May Cry Baby and he has eyeliner, very harsh eyeliner, so I did the harsh eyeliner and stuff like that. And you know, for Gojo, I, who, I, if you couldn't tell already, I'm cosplaying uh, Gojo. So if, um, something that I do for him is that I do white eyeliner to go with, you know, the fact that he has white hair and stuff like that. I do white eyeliner opposed to the black eyeliner that I would use for certain other characters and that who I have been using for characters in general. I've had, I've been trying to do more eyeliner and do more um, eye makeup as I kind of progress through this because I didn't start with eye makeup a lot because I just wasn't good at it, so new things so what i'm using is i'm using this i don't really know how to say this i think it's i think people pronounce this nyx i don't i'm not really 100 percent sure to be honest with you but i use like this white eyeliner for it so that's pretty much what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna just kind of take it and try to do my best to not fuck up so we're gonna do boop, 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 boop. I think the, the top's always like the hardest to do. So. Yeah. Um, I am going to outline my entire eye, but just for time's sake, I'm not gonna go too much into it. And for my eyebrows, if I'm doing white-haired characters, I use this wet and wild uh, paint pot thing. So that's usually what I do. And again, for time purposes, I'm literally only going to do like one. So, one eye. So, that's what we're gonna do right now. Just kind of go to do basic brows. finish it's usually my routine um that's just how i get into cosplay um so i mean yeah uh if you guys are looking for contacts or anything check out on my kitty for you um use my discount code link in the bio for five percent off your orders if you need contacts make sure to check those out um, I didn't really style this wig, to be honest with you, because, like, I just kind of just threw it together, pretty much, uh, for the video, so, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it, so, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for taking the time to check this out, if it helped, comment down below, if it did, uh, I'd be grateful if you did, let me know, because I would be happy if I did help you in any way, and that's pretty much all I have. So, like, subscribe for more videos like this. Stay updated because uh, the content's coming. Con vlogs are about to start running through again, obviously. Katsu Con's in a month, so 
I'll do some fun stuff. Make sure to follow my Instagram, link down below. All my links are down in the description to check out what I be doing, what I'm up to. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.